Hey everyone, in this video, I would like to show you how to calculate the limit when there is absolute function involved. The first step we normally do is plug in the value x equal to 4 to the original equation. And that gives us 0 over 0. Well, the answer is not 0. I wish it was that easy. But 0 over 0 is often called indeterminate form. So therefore, we need to try other method. But one thing to remember for the absolute value is that the limit, the two-sided limit, only exists if and only if both one-sided limit exist and are equal. Let me write that down. Okay, our next step will be to calculate the one-sided limit first and see if they exist or equal to each other. Well, here we have this x approaches 4 from the positive side. This plus sign over here indicates we are approaching 4 from the right side. Let me draw an x-axis. So here we're seeing x approaches 4 from the right side. That means the x value is greater than 4. Our absolute value in that case would equal to 4 minus x over negative 4 minus x. And that would be equal to negative 1. The reason is the 4 minus x, the absolute value of that is a piecewise function. When x is greater than 4, when we take the absolute value of that, we have to put a negative sign in front of it. Okay, here we have calculated the right-hand limit. Let's calculate the limit from the left side. The negative sign here means we are approaching x equal to 4 from the left side. That means your x value is smaller than 4, such as 3.9 or 3.99.
In this case, we have the piecewise function for minus x, the absolute value. But since our x is smaller than 4, then the absolute value would equal to itself, which is the same as 4 minus x. Okay, so now we calculated the right-hand limit, which is equal to negative 1, and the left-hand limit, which is equal to 1. So remember our rule, our two-sided limit exists if and only if both one-sided limit are exist and are equal to each other. But in this case, we since we have 1 and negative 1, we're not satisfying that condition. Okay, so let's do a little bit recap what we learned in this video. So when we have a absolute value function or a piecewise function, we want to calculate the limit. We first want to identify what type of limit are we calculating. Because a piecewise function Often it's not continuous, so it's very important we see whether we're calculating one-sided limit or two-sided limit. So one-sided limit is often x go to a value with a superscript on top, a plus or minus indicating the direction. For two-sided limits, there is no positive or negative sign on top of the number. OK, so for one-sided limit, you can often plug in the value but you need to pay attention to the sign. Because the absolute value of x can either be x or negative x. So we want to make sure we are plugging in the correct equation. And for two-sided limit, you need to calculate one-sided limits separately and compare them. And if they exist and equal to each other, then the limit exists. If not, the limit does not exist. Otherwise, the limit does not exist.